Just a quick disclaimer here guys, I did upload this video um, earlier, it was meant to come out after episode 2, um, but unfortunately episode 2 got taken down for copyright reasons, apparently the, the loading screens um, where the team players walk out, uh, that's getting flagged right now by the FA, so... Uh, the last video got taken down. I did get warned by in the comment section below. I didn't think it would actually happen, but so yeah, the, the video might be a bit um, jumpy all over the place. It, it, it looks fine. I've synced all the audio up to the right places now, and nothing seems out of fit. It's just you might not know, um, you know, the, the teams that are playing. I'll fix that for the next episode. You know, I'll find a way so that I can show you the the players that are on the pitch at the time. But yeah, bear with me. Uh, next episode should be all fine and dandy. What's going on guys, this is Alec here and welcome to episode 3 of my Swansea City career mode. Uh, bear with me, for this episode I've got a bit of a cold. I did have a look through a lot of the comments of the last two episodes and I've taken your opinions and uh, recommendations on board. Uh, a few people said Ben Woodburn. Definitely I'm interested in signing him for the Swans but he's recently moved to Liverpool so I can't make a move for him just yet. This is going to be a tough game against Man United. I struggled last game. Excuse me against Southampton where we drew 1-1 um, which wasn't a bad result you know away from home but uh, United have the ball now done this left hand side I actually enjoy this episode where I can just talk about the game rather than what I'm doing in the menus but Juan Mata gets the ball here holds off uh, Alfie Mawson pretty easily there gets the ball back to Anthony Martial Walcott doing his best to defend it gets into the back post Mkhitaryan heads it across to Michael Carrick who may have been a surprise to be in the team for a lot of people um, probably should have been doing better there. I think it's a mixture of Lukaku getting in his way. Um, but yeah, unlucky there. And we started off an attack here, but United managed to take the ball away from us. And they've set themselves up for a nice counter-attack here. Lukaku's got the pace on Fernandes. He gets it onto his left foot, takes a shot, and it hits the crossbar. That was a very weird type of shot. I'm not really sure what happened, but um, lucky for us, it didn't go in. Because Fabianski was beaten. But, down this right-hand side now, Theo Walcott's got the ball, he puts a half-decent ball into the box, um, and I think that was Sinclair at the back post there, trying to attack it. We get a corner from it, which Jonathan Vieira will take, um, and he'll put this one aiming for Theo Walcott at the front post. Decent effort, but, um, well, not, not really a decent effort, it's, e it's easy enough for De Gea, but a decent move. And uh, that's the first half, bit of a stalemate, nil-nil at half-time, which I was kind of okay with. United probably had the better chances um, as they start off the second half here in good spirits. 56 minute now, Lukaku puts a dangerous ball into the box. Anthony Martial's trying to get to it. It falls out to Matic, I believe that was on his weaker foot. Never really going to test Lucas Fabianski. But Mkhitaryan on this left-hand side. Uh, Jonathan Vieira did end up fouling him, but it's still United on the ball. Mkhitaryan, good run down the line from Juan Fran, who puts the ball into Anthony Martial. Um, and that one again, not troubling Lucas Fabianski. United getting a lot of half chances, uh, I'm finding at the moment. But from the from the catch Lucas Fabianski made, we could take the ball up to the end of the pitch. Britain releases Sinclair down this left-hand side, who squares up Phil Jones. Gets inside him nicely. Sinclair inside! And he cannons it off the post. He did everything apart from the finish. Um, and speaking of good chances, here's Mata on the ball. He takes the free kick over the wall. And he hits the woodwork too. So that's two chances in a row where each team have hit the woodwork. Eric Bailly now on attack. I'm guessing United are all out defending. Uh, Alfie Mawson does well to take him off the ball. Leon Britton still playing up in, in this 86th minute. Uh, plays a ball to Raphael who strides forward. Pogba trying to chase him back. It's still Rafael on the ball with a decent chance here. He tries playing in Wilfred Boney. Well, it was actually um, Renato Sanchez who doesn't manage to get on the end of it. Coming to the end of uh, the game now, we get out to Barbara Raman, into Vieira. Vieira into Sanchez, who's in a bit of space, and Renato Sanchez in the 89th minute puts Swans up 1-0. Um, he goes over to celebrate with the fans, the new feature on the game. Rafael pushes him into the fans there to celebrate. Um, you'll see from this debatably De Gea could have done better as you can see it's a nice player Guess it comes into Vieira and it's just a wide open space it's not too far in the corner um, as you'll be able to see from these replay angles here um, he just hits it with a lot of power I mean I think it's harsh to say that De Gea could have done better because the defence was awful but um yeah, you can see the celebrations there, Ronaldo Sanchez. Straight after this goal, I think I switched to five at the back, put Kyle Bartley on um, as a third centre-half. And um, fortunately for us, we're not going to need it because there's where the game ends. We beat United at home 1-0. Um, 
I think we lost that one 4 0 in real life, so it's a bit of an improvement from that. But uh, yeah, Renato Sanchez coming on off the bench and scoring in the 90th minute. Quite a way to make your home debut. So uh, I was very happy with that one. Nothing happened between that and the next game, which is Southampton away from home. I'm lying, it's Crystal Palace away from home. Bear with me, this footage is a little bit like sort of corrupt. So quite a few new changes. Um, I decided to put uh, Kisan Young in there as opposed to Rocky Mesa. Rocky Mesa and Britain started the last game. I thought I'd go a bit more defensive against United. And Crystal Palace, I knew we were going to be playing five at the back with um, you know only two central midfielders. I know that you couldn't really see that highlight there, but the replay should um, clear it up. Van Aanholt gets a good connection there. And um, very good save, actually, from Lucas Fabianski. But back to what I was saying with the midfield. Uh, I knew Crystal Palace would be very defensive, so I wanted to get as much ball-playing midfielders in the team as I could. So that's why Keys and Young uh, Renato Sanchez were playing. Obviously, Jonathan Vieira, I want to get him in the team a lot. But this was a, what a lot of the game was. You know, try, on the edge of the box, trying to conjure something up, trying to take our time, play the right pass. As you can see, Jonathan Vieira very much in the middle of it all. Renato Sanchez on the ball now into Jonathan Vieira. Back to Renato Sanchez to Barbara Rahman. Renato Sanchez now into Wilfred Bourne who flips around the corner. Kisan Young. Kisan Young on his left foot. And it's a great finish into the bottom corner. And uh, it pretty much that's what we needed. The 1 0 to go, you know, a goal up early on. I knew Palace would sort of have to push up the pitch. Obviously, with it being nil-nil, the more it goes on, the more chance they've got of, got of counter-attacking us. But it's a very decent first touch there from Keeson Young, who gets it onto his left foot, um, and he finishes it into the bottom right-hand corner with a very decent finish. Nice passing as well. I think if you look back, we didn't really lose the ball too much during that play. But, um, yeah, I was happy with that one. Ball into now Jonathan Vieira, into Wilfred Borney, who just holds it up. Renato Sanchez now goes for the shot, misses, and gets the rebound very luckily. I believe it was Tompkins that got the block, and I'd be guessing. I think it was James Tompkins that got a block on the first shot, which looked like he was going in. Um, and as you see here, unfortunately, it just sold the keeper an absolute boot. And um, he fell on the floor as an open goal. It was actually Van Arnholt that got the block, so I was wrong. But, um, yeah... An easy goal for Ronaldo Sanchez. Keep a die for that one as well, <laughs> the wrong way. Um, but regardless, we'll take it. And uh, we go 2-0 up in this game. Palace creating some chances of their own. Joel Ward down this right-hand side. They've got Benteke in the box, who we'll actually aim for. Benteke won't get there. I think it was actually Townsend that got a connection on that. But it was an easy save straight at Fabianski in the end. I think we would have had more danger if uh, if it went to a, um, a Benteke header. But more of this attacking play on the edge of Crystal Palace's box. Baba Rahman into Keeson Young. Kisan Young into Sanchez, Borny back into Vieira, Vieira with a shot and Vieira with a finish. He's got himself a goal um, on his third, oh of course he scored on his debut as well. This is two goals in three games for Jonathan Vieira, obviously he made the assist last game for the crucial goal against United but again this is just very good play. Uh, the midfielders playing off Wilfred Borny, Wilfred Borny hasn't scored in this game but he's been a very influential part and that's what I like, you know, putting the ball into a good target man up front and um, him laying off people running on which is why I like Vieira, he makes them forward runs. Obviously you've seen it with Keeson Young and Sanchez this game too. Kubiak, um, Kubiak, Crystal Palace with another good chance, debatably should have done better there, he had a lot of time to take that shot and he took it first time, Fabianski called into action and made a good save, 45th minute now, coming up to the second half, as you can see here, we're still attacking down this right hand side, Nassing puts a good ball into the box, into Wilfred Borney, who finishes first time, and I was really happy with that goal actually, because it's a nice play, as you can see, Kisan Young there just feeds it outside, and Nassing puts a perfect ball, he literally puts it on a plate for Wilfred Borney, um, who's only just got to really get it on target from that distance. And uh, yeah, that's how the first half is going to end. 4-0 away from home at Selhurst Park. I won this one 2-0 in real life. Um, but yeah, I knew I didn't really have to do too much now this game. I mean, the game, the, what am I talking about? The game is set in March at this point. 4-0 uh, against Palace, who aren't really... Um, you know, testing me at all uh, at the back. I mean, I mean, they've had a good couple of chances, but nothing's been too threatening. As you can see, straight from the second half, we're back to the same on the edge of uh, Crystal Palace's box. It gets fed into Jonathan Vieira, who probably could have taken the first time there. Uh, passes it back to Keeson Young, and we're just playing with it on the edge of the box now. Keeson Young still got the ball. Probably looked at that pass into Borney at one point or another. There he is into Renato Sanchez. Sanchez shoots. 
and it's 5-0. Two goals from Renato Sanchez, that's three in his last two games. He's looking a talent. I was kind of sceptical about playing him a lot this season because he's obviously on loan, but um, he's looking good. And as you can see, it's just that pass into Boney, facing away from goal, who feeds it off to his midfielders. And when I am playing with a team like this, like, you know, last game I played with Britain and Messer, I've not really got this attacking threat, but with Renato Sanchez and Keeson Young being very, very good sort of all-round players, uh, it gives them the chance that when, you know, Boney does get the ball and holds it up, um, as you can see, a player is playing off Boney, Narsing probably could have done better, and um, we get a decent chance again there with Boney laying off the era. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice system to work with. Because Borne is such a very good target man, obviously very strong, the players can play off him, but uh, late on in the game now, 85th minute, Fabianski catches the ball off an easy uh, set piece, and Narsing releases Abraham, gets the pace of the defenders, Abraham one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and at first I thought he skied it, but it turns out to be a very, very good save from the keeper. Regardless of it being a good save, as you can see there, he just gets a fingertip last second, and... Um, Nothing, pro uh, nothing. Abraham probably should be finishing that, but you know, maybe that's me to blame. Maybe I chose the wrong shot to take. But um, this is my first time playing with Abraham. Oh, actually, he came on as a sub in the United game, and he's looking sharp. I did try and get him a goal at the end there, but that was a that's actually a great. Save. I think that was Narsing that that uh, won the header, and another great save from the keeper. But he did concede five. We conceded nothing. So a 5-0 win away at Selhurst Park as we say Roy, shake Roy Hodgson's hand. Um, and that's all for this episode. Uh, it's been nice to get a couple of games in. I'll um, I'll probably be uploading every other day. That's my plan. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this episode and see you next time.